What's good, YouTube? RabbitBoy92 here, back again, once again. Today, people, today, it's Thursday, so you know what I mean? So, the Pokemon Top 5 all lined up and ready to go for you guys. Now, last week, we had the choice between either Top 5 Potential Fairy Types or Top 5 Evolutions and Top 5 Evolutions 1. Now, this Top 5, as well as any Top 5 that I do, is 100% opinionated, meaning that if you don't agree with it, then by all means, leave your own Top 5s in the comment section below. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the Top 5 Evolutions. Now, starting off the countdown this week, in the number 5 slot, we have probably the... What's the word I'm looking for here? What's what's the word I'm looking for here? I don't want to say the worst evolution, but I feel like Flareon just got cut the worst deal out of all the rest of them. Um, first Gen really doesn't have a lot of decent fire types. I mean, you have Arcanine, Ninetales, um, if you want to count Moltres, you can, but I mean, just fire types overall generally aren't shown a lot of love each generation. So I think that for first gym, one of the three evolutions that we got, Flareon was clearly and obviously uh, cut a bad deal, especially with its moveset. Just Flareon just... <sighs> Come on, <laughs> why do you gotta do Flareon like that? But you know what, I, I like Flareon, I like Flareon just simply because, like I said, they don't really show a lot of love to fire types, period. In each generation, there's really not a whole shit ton of fire types introduced. So uh, I think the fire type evolution, it's just, it's just amazing. I love it. Now, even though most evolutions all have the same stats somewhat, all of them lack in one way or another, in my opinion. Um, to me, like I just said, Flareon lacked that moveset. That's why it was number five. I like it, but it just lacked that moveset. For me, Vaporeon is number four, just because I really don't care for its design. Um, to me, I think with just the idea of a water type evolution, there's so many things that they could have done involving water. You know, water makes up so much of our daily life, you know, whether it comes to uh, mythical stories or just average everyday things. You know, there's so many different things that water is a part of. So I think that just going for like adding gills and a tail, like, like a, a fish tail or some shit and saying that it's mistaken for a mermaid, to me, I think they could have just done more. That's all it is. You know, I mean, I don't have any hate on Vaporeon. Water types are my favorite type, so Vaporeon, sometimes I, I'll end up going with Vaporeon. It's just, I think the design just could have been a lot better. In the number three slot this week, we have Glaceon. Now, for you guys that haven't noticed already, I'm not actually including Eevee in this top five. These are Eeveelutions. So, like, Eevee just doesn't count. Like, these are just the evolutions of Eevee. But either way, we have Glaceon in the number three slot. And to be honest with you guys, when I first saw Glaceon and Leafeon, when 4th Gen first came out, I thought they were complete ass completely unoriginal completely just like what the fuck i still feel that way about leafeon i think the name leafeon is completely unoriginal leafeon itself is a decent pokemon don't get me wrong it's just i i, I feel like they could have done more it, it just it could have just been better but for me glaceon like i said i didn't really like it at first but um slowly but surely it's kind of grown on me uh the design's nice and sleek and smooth i think it fits well for an ice type and I just, I just like Glaceon. I, I can't, I can't really give you much more explanation than that. I just like Glaceon. I mean, I don't know why. It's just sleek and smooth and just, yeah, I love it. Claiming the number two spot this week, we have what I feel is probably going to be the fan favorite evolution. We have Jolteon. Now, Jolteon for me is not in the number two spot because it's an electric type. It's not in the number two spot because it look, just looks so fucking amazing. Because honestly, you want to talk about unoriginal designs, it's just a fucking, like, ball of spikes. Like, that's really all it is. Like, it's it's like a yellow version of Ferrothorn. I feel like I'm going to piss so many people off when I say <laughs> It's just a joke. Um, I put Jolteon in the number two spot because this motherfucker is fast as hell. He has a base 130 speed. This is the, probably one of the only times you ever hear me talk about stats on the top five. He's got a base 130 speed. To put that in perspective for you, Blaziken has a base 120 attack. Like, that's how fast. Is 120 or 125? It's somewhere around there for Blaziken. That's how fast this motherfucker is. Like, Jolteon is incredibly fast. And that right there alone is one of the reasons that I fucking love him. And finally, claiming the number one spot in our top five evolutions. If you guys know me at all, then you already knew this was going to happen. I know the heated mode is going to be fucking ecstatic right now. But Espeon is number one in my list. Um, I just... 
I feel like Espeon is just the strongest out of all the evolutions. I know that's opinionated and you uh, might want to pull up facts and stats since I pulled up stats with Jolteon and all that bullshit. But to me, just out of personal use, I have had the most success, I've had the most fun, I've, I've just... I, the overall best experience playing with Espeon compared to the other evolutions. You know, like I, I've said in, pa in past countdowns, you know how you just play with that one Pokemon? Like, like for example, Delibird. Like, I know Delibird's terrible, but I just enjoyed playing with him. To me, that's Espeon. I fucking love Espeon, and that alone is why it's number one on my top five evolutions. Yeah. So there you have it, people. That wraps up this week's top five evolutions for us. I want to make sure that everyone understands that last week's top ten was a one-time thing. This is a top five series. We just did top ten because it was like legends. It was a big episode. But either way, make sure you smash that like button down below for us if you did enjoy this week's top five. And share with us your own top five evolutions in the comment section below. Now, the choice for next week's top five... If you guys know how this works, then the one that lost last week comes back. We have top five potential fairy types. Like I said, these are not fairy types that have been announced already. Just Pokemon that haven't been announced as fairy that could possibly become fairy types. By the way, we have the choice between either potential fairy types or top five baby Pokemon. A lot of you guys have been recommending different uh, top fives that we could do, so I'm taking them into consideration. But that's the choices for next week. Top five potential fairy type Pokemon or top five baby Pokemon. So make sure you smash that like button down below for us. If you haven't, share with us your own top five evolutions and vote for next week's type. And as always, people, thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube, Nap192. Oh, I'm out.